Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to our seventh DCTV 23 weekly update on COVID-19. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. As our state continues to reopen in phases, we would like to remind citizens that COVID-19 is still very present within our community. Therefore, we continue to encourage citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands repeatedly throughout the day, and practice social distancing to fight the spread of COVID-19. As of May 20th, Douglas County has 452 confirmed cases, and sadly, 19 of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones and the Board of Commissioners, we would like to send our sincere condolences to those individuals and their families affected by this. The state of Georgia created a COVID-19 hotline with the sole purpose to answer your questions and address your concerns related to the virus. If you have questions and wish to speak with someone, call the COVID-19 hotline at 844-422-2681. As of May 20th, Cobb and Douglas Public Health have tested over 1,600 people at our testing site at Hunter Park. Now, anyone can be tested, regardless if they have symptoms or not. Visit cdphcovid19testing.org to complete the online testing referral to make an appointment. The hours of operation for Hunter Park testing site are Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Please note, testing is by appointment only. Individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health will not be tested. Rick, I hear you have some important information regarding new courthouse procedures. Is that true? That's right, Lena. Douglas County citizens will notice a lot of signage at the Douglas County Courthouse regarding a recent order issued by Chief Judge David Emerson for new courthouse procedures due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The order states that no one will be allowed to enter the courthouse who's not wearing a face covering, such as a surgical mask, cloth, bandana, scarf, or other covering over their mouth and nose. Individuals within the courthouse must keep their face coverings on at all times in the courtrooms and other public areas. Those who are unwilling to comply with these directions, the sheriff's office has been directed to refuse admittance into the courthouse. However, citizens visiting the courthouse who intend to vote and exercise their right to vote will not be turned away. To read the full order, visit CelebrateDouglasCounty.com. Last Saturday, District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen and First Baptist Church Douglasville partnered with Atlanta Food Bank to bring Douglas County their second community food giveaway. As you can see from these photos, the event was successful with a great turnout. We commend Commissioner Carthen and all those involved for their commitment in feeding Douglas County citizens through such a difficult time. Earlier, I had the pleasure to speak with COP and Douglas Public Health Director, Dr. Janet Meemark. I spoke with her about the latest information about COVID-19 for our area and the best ways to live safely and effectively during the pandemic. You can watch this special one-on-one -on -one interview with Dr. Meemark and myself on Douglas County Happenings Facebook page and DCTV23's Facebook page. Again, Cobb and Douglas Public Health continues to encourage Douglas County citizens to wear a face covering while being in public wash hands and practice social distancing. Protect yourself, protect those around you. That's right. Douglas County, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com and Douglas County Happenings Facebook page and our DCTV23's Facebook page. Thank you for watching. See you next week.